Hello and welcome to Machad Shooting Bench and today we're going to be going over how to set up your electronic scale for measuring out smokeless powder for reloading cartridges. So um, I have a balance beam scale that came with my original kit that I bought from Lee but I didn't really care for it because it was just too much of a pain to get set up every time I wanted to use it. So I went ahead and I spent the money and I got a Hornady electronic scale uh, GS1500 and uh, it cost me about $36 and um, it comes with your scale so we'll dig that out I uh, got that at Van Raymond Outfitters up in uh, Brewer, Maine and it also comes with your uh, tray for your powder and then your weight which you, is very important to calibrate your scale before you use it each time so let's put this away and we'll set the weight down. Now as you can see I have um, wooden panels on most of my bench here to cover up spots that were uneven and then I leveled it and um, this rubber pad here um, this is like rubber flooring but it kinda gives me a vibration free surface because it kinda insulates the vibration so that's why I prefer to use my scale so I don't have any vibrations affecting it and with electronic scales the only thing you gotta watch out for is sometimes um, like overhead lighting, like above me I have a fluorescent light and that can affect sometimes electronic items. You just want to be careful of that and make sure that if you're going up to really, really like you just red line loads, you probably want to use a balanced beam scale, something that isn't um, affected by, uh, by lighting. So this is a battery operated scale. It uses uh, three AAA batteries in the back here. and uh, it's a really great scale. I haven't really had any issues with it whatsoever. It's very nice so um, let's just go over a basic how we uh, set it up to use it and um, what you have to go through to make sure you're using it accurately. So first I open it up like you normally would and you um, just set this tray aside for right now and uh, we take this weight, this is a hundred gram weight and this is what you use to uh, calibrate your scale. So we turn it on. As you can see, the display turns on there. And it's uh, make sure your increments are in grains. So this is, says 00GN. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's bring this around here. You can see it says 00GN. Uh, so we got it set on grains weight, which is what you measure out uh, smokeless powder in. So let's put the camera back down. And now with this model, to uh, to calibrate it before we use it, we hold down the mode button, and it comes up with a CAL letters. So that means calibrate. We press it again. Those letters flash. It flashes a hundred grams, and then we take the weight and we set it on the center of the scale and then if it is calibrated correctly it says pass we can pull that weight off and we can set that aside so now it reads zero zero grains and it's been calibrated with the weight so now this thing in order to load powder we need to put this on the scale and we need to take it and we need to tear it out so this weight of this tray is not calibrated into the powder weight so that way we're not getting measurements of like 500 grains when we only have six so we'll take this and set that on there and that brings the weight up to 135.3 grains so by while leaving that tray on there we press the tear button and it resets the readout to zero so when I take this up off there it should say negative 135 grains and there we go negative 135 grains so let's just do a test and let's see how much this 1.0 cc Lee Dipper holds of Trail Boss. Um, slowly slide that over so you can get a better view. Typically you don't want to move your scale after you've calibrated it, but just gently. Um, I know this is probably going to throw about 4.5 grains, so I'm not too worried about it. So there's the Trail Boss. So we will uh, scoop out some Trail Boss dump it in that tray there and then when we set the tray on the scale it reads 4.7 grains of trail boss so I'll bring the camera over so you can get a better view of that let's 
It's right there, 4.7 grains of trail boss, 4.6. Um, so that's just basically uh, how you set up your scale and uh, now that we know that that dipper throws that amount of trail boss I can feel comfortable knowing that using this to load my um, revolver cartridges I know it's going to throw between 4.5 and 4.7 these aren't really high pressure loads so I'm not really close to the maximum so that's just how I choose to load um, you can uh, your mileage may vary of course but that's basically how you set up your reloading scale. So, thanks for watching.